Hi guys, my name is Prakpal and welcome back in my new video. So guys, in this particular video, we are going to draw an assembly and after that we will draw the corridor. So what we have to do over here is, first of all, we need to go to the assembly and click on a create assembly and just give the Indian given name over here. So I'm providing the name as assembly, click on OK and I'm going to put the click over here. After that, one mark like this will be appear. Then what you have to do, just click over here, okay, as a tool palette. There's an India 2020 kit I have downloaded. Now after that, there's a different kind of the various, you know, tools are available. Okay, various kind of assemblies are available. Now I'm going to select the carriageway with RCC drain and service load. This kind of particular assembly I'm going to select. So I just click on this. When I click on this, its property will be reflecting on the right side. So in parameters, you can change the width based on that the assemblies or thickness of the each and every layer will change. Now what you have to do is just click on one side. Okay, so assembly will be reflecting over there. Okay, because my laptop configuration is very less. That's why it's taking some time. So you can see the one side is prepared. Now again, you need to click on the other side. Okay. So you can see the other side also will generate, but it takes few minutes only, few seconds only to generate the corridor. That's why Civil Street is one of the best software ever I have found. Okay, so you can see just click on close. Now you can see we have prepared the assemblies. Now what you have to do when you have prepared the assemblies, okay, just save the model first because when you save the model, it will work fast. Okay, and I'll suggest you go for the reference file. We also call it as XRF. If you use the reference file, you will get very good output, okay, because you will your software will work very fast. Now just click over here, okay, and prepare one rectangle. That's why we can represent that yes, there is a one assembly is reflecting. Now after that, just come here, okay, and you can see the alignment is reflected. Now what you have to do, just click on a corridor, click on a corridor, and here you need to provide a corridor name, okay? You need to select the alignment, you need to select the vertical profile, you need to select the assembly, okay? And just click on okay. When you click on okay, set all targets, no targets were found, just click on apply, and you need to rebuild the corridor. When you click on the rebuild the corridor, okay, the corridor will start preparing, okay? And you can see the alignment, the proper corridor over here. Now you can see it is removed. Again, we need to do this procedure. Okay. So corridor, because I forget to click on apply. Okay. Then here vertical curve assembly, click on okay. Okay. Apply, rebuild the corridor. And then after modeling the all corridor, the corridor is generated and click on apply and click on okay. When you click on okay, our highway is designed now. Okay. You can see the highway is properly designed. So in next video, I'll be showing you how to see this highway in three dimensional model. Okay. In realistic model. So we are going to drive on this highway in next lecture. Thank you so much.